We are looking at this Zywe fungicide trial uh, in the corn crop, looking at the corn silage, because many grain producers thought that it was needed in looking at the foliar uh, fungicide through the plant. I thought it would be a good idea since um, many dairy producers, their main forage is corn silage. And corn silage tends to have lots of mycotoxin problems. And I wanted to see if this fungicide that stays in the plant, grows up through the plant, would reduce those mycotoxins that would end up in the uh, forage for those dairy cows. We have both treated and untreated plots here, replicated five times. Um, our plots are 100 feet long by 10 feet wide, planted in a no-till field at a population of 32,000. We have a 117-day variety corn um, here that we're using this year, and we fertilized with 200 units of nitrogen um, for this plot as well. Extension's been getting a few calls about a possible negative effect on seedling emergence um, from the Zyway. So you can see on your right, we've got the untreated control, and on your left here, we have the Zyway treated in furrow. And we did some stand counts. What we noticed is that there's no negative effect of Zyway on the number of seedlings emerged. In fact, there were a little bit more seedlings emerged in the Zyway plots than in the control but we did notice slight stunting, distorting of some of the leaves, some of the plants in the Zyway plots. Zyway is labeled for gray leaf spot and northern corn leaf blight. Those are two common leaf diseases we find in our area. These foliar diseases are most prominent when we have wet, humid weather. These two diseases can drastically re reduce yield potential for our producers in this area, especially if they are using it for silage production. A key point to applying Zyway is that it is applied at planting and it reduces um, the time and labor having to go back out into the field and apply another treatment. We harvested the Zyway trial on August the 12th and then sent the samples to Dairy One. We have them run the NDFD 30 hour analysis along with mycotoxins. For the 30 hour analysis, they measured forage quality for crude protein and NDFD. They also ran a dry matter yield. This resulted in no significant differences between the treatments. No mycotoxins were seen in any of the samples. Disease pressure in 2021 was very low and this trial should be repeated in a higher pressure year to reveal differences between the treatments. Based on this year's results from our Zyway trial in corn silage, it is difficult for us to make recommendations whether the product is useful or not in corn silage in reducing mycotoxin issues. We will continue to study this product in future years and look at conditions which would be conducive for causing mycotoxins in corn silage. We do need to look at the economics of this product to see if it will be economically feasible to use in corn silage in reducing mycotoxin problems. Stay tuned for further research based on this product.